Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm the Miso Genius, the curator of all things entertainment and the progenitor of women's hurt feelings. Women in there crying. <laughs> We're changing it up today, guys. We're talking about the Snow White remake, and everybody is so excited about it. I'm just kidding. It's going to be woke as hell, but I actually am excited about parts of it. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit more about the lead actress, Rachel Zegler. So fine and uh, why she's ruining the movie, kind of, though, so. Isn't that just like a woman? Uh, I'm everywhere where there is a woman ruining things, and there's never a shortage of places for me to find that. There's a lot of it. And we're gonna cover it very funly here today, so let's go ahead and let's get into it, guys. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. Like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. She's not gonna be safe with the prince and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. The, the original cartoon came out in 1937 and very evidently so. <laughs> there is a big focus on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? Now, as you can see, guys, this does not paint Rachel in a very positive light. And this caused a firestorm once they came out and gave the announcement because she's trashing the original and she's also communicating, hey, guess what? Look how woke the next movie is going to be. She throws out the same old, same old, same old trope that we're dealing with out there in Hollywood, which is girl power, girl power, girl boss. Uh, everyone needs to be a strong, independent woman that don't need no man. And everybody is tired of that. Everybody is sick of that. And everybody is ganging up on Rachel. She dealt with some really, really severe backlash, which I can kind of understand. But me personally, I'm not under the impression that she wasn't maybe coached to make this happen to create some type of a draw for the movie. Because this is the, the narrative that Disney particularly is trying to push. Look at Leslie Headland in The Acolyte. Like, it's all about the, the forces female. It's all about the strong, independent women and, and all this other nonsense. Disney particularly is in the headspace that we need to appeal to women, appeal to women. But what they're doing is they're actually destroying Snow White and tarnishing the original movie, and they're turning off women and men. So, huge, huge problem, but Rachel Zegler? I, I mean, I still want to support this movie because look at it from my perspective when it comes to Disney movies or even a lot of movies in general. We already know 90% of movies are going to be woke as hell. But the bad type of woke that they're trying to inject into the movies really is, let's make everyone unattractive as possible. Let's throw uh, a bunch of diversity in there. Let's get it. Let's get to just throw a bunch of schnoogly boogly doogly dooglies. But, but guys, Rachel, Rachel Ziegler, she's hot as hell. Come on, guys. The miso genius ain't no simp for no woman. Look at her. This is probably the hottest woman that they've had in a lead role in a long time. She is fine, and she's only going to get more fine as she gets uh, a few years older. I, I think she's like 22, 21, 22 or something. Perfect age. Uh, I believe that she's Hispanic. They joke around and say, oh, it's not Snow White, it's Snow Brown. Uh, I, I don't care about that identity stuff. There's some other funnier identity stuff I'm going to talk about uh, in a bit. But... Rachel is just doing what, uh, you know, young ladies do. She's just up to, uh, you know, shenanigans saying, you know. She's a Brett. Now, what's the problem that's, that's, uh, that it really represents and why everyone is so kind of dogging on uh, Rachel Ziegler is that she represents how your average woman's attitude is. The entitlement, the I'm the best thing ever. I'm the greatest thing ever. I can say whatever I want. So 
even the women that are that are looking at this are saying, oh, no, I don't like Rachel Zegler at all. And, it, and you need to look back at those women and say, hey, guess what, sweetheart? That's you also. That's how you act. Yeah, just like a woman. So Rachel is just a good representation of your average woman. Now, what does Rachel have going for her? Young and attractive. When you're young and attractive, you get away with this type of stuff. Is it hot in here? Because I'm really hot. They're likely to lose hundreds of million dollars on this movie. And uh, what we're seeing out there is that the investors are even likely suing. They might already be suing Disney over this movie. This is uh, the level of destruction that a woman is causing in Hollywood. And many women are. So, what does this mean, guys, when it comes to... Uh, you know, the movie industry or real life. Uh, well, th the bigger problems, and if you've watched any of my Stellar Blade things, is is that there is a huge effort out there to remove attractiveness and to remove, remove beauty from the movies, uh, remove femininity from the movies, remove it from the games. There is a huge push for that. That is what we value as men. That's probably the biggest thing. It is the biggest thing with women. So... If a woman isn't providing any type of, you know, uh, anything that's going uh, to attract us with their appearance, what, what's, what would be the motive? We need a motive to get together. This is how we are, ladies. We want things that are attractive. So we got little Rachel Ziegler over here, say, in this movie that's likely going to get crushed. It's losing Disney hundreds of hundreds of millions of dollars. And me, the miso genius, who ain't no simba sitting there going, hey, you know. At least she's hot. But if she wasn't hot, I'd be going, Damn, burn it down! Burn it down! Burn it down! <laughs> so, I'm going to go and see Snow White. I will when it comes out. I really, really will. I'm going to go see the movie. Because I want to support Rachel. Uh, because she's a good actress, she might be. I don't really care. She's hot. She's hot as heck. Okay, that that's the rant on the part with Rachel. Now, let's tie in kind of the next woke element uh, of the upcoming film and why they're looking to reshoot it and how it kind of really ties in to other things, entertainment and gaming. So uh, with the other thing with Snow White is from my understanding originally based on the screenshots, it was not going to be the magical dwarves. It was going to be like the seven magical people or like seven magical minorities or so. It was something like that. So um, people were in an uproar about that. So you have the lead actress who's kind of just saying, hey, yeah, I don't give a crap about uh, Snow White or anything. I don't care. And it's like, yeah, we can't have the seven magical dwarves. That's offensive to dwarves. We're going to make it the seven magical um, minority people over here or, or people, what, whatever they were going to do. And there was just a firestorm. It got ratioed to oblivion like many of the trailers do uh, on YouTube. They, they get nothing but ratioed. And it's lucky that we have different creators out there that will report it because they don't have the down votes because I think YouTube actually has some good insight as to um, a lot of new movies coming out are going to get ratioed into oblivion. So they're changing all these things to ruin the original things and it all it does is betray the original. And a lot of people are coming out there saying, why can't you just not remake something and because it has nothing to do with uh, the original, why don't you just make your own new movie? And the reason why they don't is because they want to purchase an audience based on the nostalgia. But audiences at this point are saying, nope, we don't trust you to make uh, to remake this in, in, uh, in a good light of the original. We expect you to make it terrible. So... We've we've really had it. I mean, there is a whole. This is kind of what what my platform is here. Is is my entire platform is built upon content uh, or not content? I wouldn't say mainstream media and Hollywood is it's it's like clockwork. They they are churning out crap after crap after crap after crap, and it's in video games. Uh, they are race swapping. They are gender swapping. They are uglifying women women in there. It is. It is fun for me to make these videos because I get the opportunity to talk about it and talk about, you know, what it means. And, and it, it creates a platform for brand new YouTubers. It is literally taking the market share 
away from Hollywood. I'm done being an underdog. Underdogs suck. And moving it over to small creators and the small guys like myself. And I'm going to grow this. And the purpose of my platform, so it is an entertainment thing, but it's also a woman's, uh, it's also kind of a woman's roast platform. And, you know, there are, a lot of them are in on it. I mean, when I changed back over to this niche, I was at 90% men. I'm down to about 70% and it's about 30% women. So way more women came onto my platform as soon as I started roasting them again. When I was coaching women, because this was a coaching uh, channel for, for a long time, it had almost 80% men and it was for women. Everything is the backwards land. And just like our woke entertainment, it's whatever loses money is good. And whatever, does, whatever makes money is bad. Like I was talking about Stellar Blade, the video game. Uh, it's making money. It's highly rated. Everyone's having fun with it. No, we can't have that. We can't have hot women in the game. No! <laughs> so I'm taking it as a win with Snow White, even though it's kind of probably going to be a kids type movie anyways. Uh, it is a win for Snow White because Snow White is probably like honest to God, like the ideal woman that I would pick out would be Rachel Z. So it is, in fact, a win. And based on her comment, uh, uh, this was one comment, and I'll, I'll kind of finish up on this, when she just said, uh, Snow White is trying to learn how to be the leader she always thought that she could be. Women must not be the leader, okay? Women need to return to their Barbies. Women are not good at being the leader. They are, in fact, very terrible at it. And as soon as we return as men to being the leader, they can go back to playing with their Barbies. I hope you enjoyed the session today, guys, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time.